squats are quite possibly capable of packing more total lean mass onto the body than any other exercise in existence, which in the long run is going to dramatically increase the resting metabolic rate, and that makes staying relatively lean a pretty easy and manageable task to accomplish. All right, time to debunk this parroted myth. Okay guys, the key takeaway from this video today is going to be that when these fitness influencers, when they give you this information, that we need to be skeptical about it because you see what happens is these fitness influencers in their zest to become so knowledgeable, they go and mine this information and they paired it to their followers and they paired it on their sites without really being skeptical about it, without really vetting it properly and so they can give bad information in their videos. Now let's read what Incuri Fitness posted on his side. He said, building lean body mass is another effective method for boosting RMR. Now RMR is resting me metabolic rate or basal me metabolic rate and this is going to be the calories that you burn while you're resting. The ability to preserve muscle mass or even better build muscle mass can help preserve our age related losses. Even a small two to four pounds of muscle mass can provide a 7 to 8 percent boost in metabolism and can add approximately 90 to 100 calories to TDEE per day. Uh, so if we calculate that real quick, which is 2 to 4 pounds of muscle mass, can give you a metabolic boost of 90 to 110 calories. So this is 25 to 100 calories per pound of muscle mass that they claim you can burn by increasing that muscle mass. Now, in Curie Fitness pulled this quote from a site called nasm.org. Now, I'm not sure how they got the .org because they're actually selling personal trainer certifications. And if you visit the site, they'll spam you. Now, when I asked in Curie Fitness to cite the information, he told me that it's already cited in the article, which it is not. The guy makes about 15 points in that article, and he only gives about nine citations. He does not cite the fact that you can get a 100 calorie boost from two to four pounds of muscle mass gained. So let's do this. Let's be a little bit skeptical. Let's double check the numbers that they're putting on this site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to some reputable sources and I'm going to do some math and I'm going to see if those numbers are correct. So I'm going to go to a joint study which was made by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the World Health Organization, the United Nations University, and Glasgow University titled Basal Metabolic Rate in Man. And we're going to this table which shows metabolic rates of organs and tissues in man. Now in this graph which is based on averages, they show total skeletal muscle at 30 kilograms which is 66 pounds of muscle. Now this is confirmed by metadata which mostly shows that the average skeletal muscle of an average man is about 35 percent of his body mass. An average person that weighs 85 kilograms you take 35% of that, and that equals 30 kilograms, which confirms this data. But we've established an average skeletal muscle of 30 kilograms, or 66 pounds. We can then look at how many calories that 66 pounds of muscle burns in a day. And the fourth column shows that that muscle burns 324 calories per day. So you then take the 324 calories, the amount that your total body muscle burns in one day, and you divide it by the 66 pounds of muscle, and what you come up with is 4.9 calories per pound of muscle, which we're gonna round up to five calories per pound of muscle. And this is 11 calories per kilogram of muscle, which the next column shows. And if you look at the next column, you'll see that your total skeletal muscle is responsible for 18% of your resting metabolic rate and this is actually less calories than what your liver or what your brain burns per day. So you can see that the numbers that they are claiming simply do not line up to calculations. In fact, one way to look at it, this is the basal metabolic rate of all of your muscles, of all 66 pounds of your muscles, is 18% of your basal metabolic rate. So technically, when you go from zero pounds of muscle to 66 pounds of muscle, your basal metabolic rate has increased 18% with that 66 pounds of muscle. Yet they claim you can get an 8% metabolic boost 
with just two to four pounds of muscle. And here's another way that shows their numbers do not add up. Let's say you're building muscle for 10 years and over the next 10 years you build two to four pounds of muscle per year. Now according to their figures you should get a hundred calorie metabolic boost just from those muscles every year. So over 10 years that would amount to a thousand calories of metabolic boost when your total metabolic burn from all your muscles is only about 320 calories. So you really have to watch these fitness influencers when they try to give you this information because sometimes they just fall flat on their face.